consider myself pretty much the luckiest motherfucker in the world. You know, not just to have the opportunity to, to go deep, deep into music with Jeff, but to go deep, deep into life with Jeff and uh, we had a good time. Man. <laughs> It's been a uh, work in progress for quite a few years. Pre-COVID, we were talking about this and trying to make a replica of Jeff's 59 Les Paul from, from the Airbirds. And it was important to Jeff as well. He was still part of the idea and the project and he supported it and he loved the idea. After that, for me, it was a matter of making sure that we can keep Jeff's legacy alive by finishing a project that we talked about four or five years ago and we never got around to doing it while it was here. To be even here involved with the, uh, the Jeff Beck tribute night tonight is, it's an absolute honor and uh, I really, really can't wait. It'll be amazing. <laughs> I never felt like I was the singer with a guitarist. I felt like I was performing a duet with Jeff. He is the only guitarist that, and I've worked with a lot of guitarists, some brilliant ones, and he's the only one that I feel like gets a duet. I'm trying to continue to, to pursue and promote awareness of Jeff, keeping his legacy alive by us doing little projects that'll carry the torch and expose it to new people. And the more we do that, I think it's great. You know, keep the dream alive. Keep Jeff alive.